Greetings, my name is Daniel Tal, and I would like to talk about the release of SketchUp Diffusion. We've been using SketchUp Diffusion, testing it for quite a while in our practice, and we've come away with some processes and methods that we want to share and talk about the whole entire opportunity of how it works. SketchUp Diffusion is based off Stable Diffusion, which is an open AI gener generative engine similar to MidJourney and Dolly 3. And it uses, what makes SketchUp Diffusion unique is the ability for it to render out the SketchUp models and identify the SketchUp models. They use a unique system here that's part of the Diffusion engine, a sort of segmentation to help it understand the 3D environment. It's not perfect by any end, but it, it will get better and from our point of view in our studio and our practice, it's important for everyone to start playing around with these tools. As they're not going away, they're gonna become more ubiquitous and more accurate. So this is kind of our workflow process that we're gonna talk about in terms of how that does it. In fact, within our, our firm at Confluence, we now have uh, the expectation has been raised by our principals and managers that we actually use these tools and present it to, to client facing and the public. So how does it work and what's the workflow? So there's two different ways that we actually work with SketchUp Diffusion. The first one is we open up our, our SketchUp model and then we render it out using prompts and styles, which I'm, and, that, and we get that output and we can post-process it. The second way, which we actually use quite a bit, and is actually taking a finished rendering from Lumion, Enscape, Twinmotion, doesn't matter, and inserting it, just importing the image into the SketchUp environment and then aligning the view so you're dead on uh, to the image. And then SketchUp Diffusion will still recognize and segment and identify the image, allowing you to, in essence, post-process your rendered image. We then take that, throw those into Photoshop, and we create very cohesive photorealistic scenes. It's a shortcut, in essence, for the post processing of renders, which can be time consuming and difficult to actually master. There's a whole separate video that my colleague Jen Becker has done on this particular process in detail, focusing on a single model. And that's actually a, a very powerful aspect of how it works. So this unique tool, it's SketchUp Diffusion is a unique tool in terms of its generative AI, works best on interior models. It's got probably built around a database about interior stuff and products. That's what the sketch, uh, the, the generative, um, how do you say it? The stable diffusion engine. I always have a hard time with that one for some reason, but stable diffusion, which is what SketchUp is using and accessing here. And then, so you can do really amazing interiors. And then architectural exteriors as well are actually pretty good. Like you can take, a, whether it's a render in SketchUp or you're bringing in the image, you can make these things night scenes it's with a click of a button and just adding the right prompts. And then exterior uh, landscape site views are more challenging. There's a lot more elements for the generative AI that doesn't fully understand it, but that's where we've developed our process in terms of urban and landscape architecture renderings. The last thing I'm going to say as we go into part two, if you watch part two, which we're going to talk about rendering your models for accuracy using SketchUp Diffusion, is that the level of detail in your models matter the most. If you want accuracy, you have to include that object in the model. So the nice thing about this for everybody out there is if you do 3D model, AI will not replace you for a, quite a while is my guess, if, if it replaces anybody at all, which seems like it might. But it can't do that level of detail in a modeling world to that level of accuracy. And that, so if you want a person, a car, a window, a tree, whatever it might be, an appliance, you have to include it in the model as an actual physical model, and you have to include it in the prompts. And we'll talk about that in part two. So this is the introduction to SketchUp Diffusion, and I hope you enjoy and see the next set of videos. Thank you very much and have a good rest of your day.